nice of you to drop in.
What happened to you? A minor scuffle. Goes with the territory. So, who was it this time? The crooks or your co-workers? Oh, right. They're one and the same. What are you doing at the station at this time of night? Do you know what this neighborhood is like? Dad, I'm 15. You should be at home. Yeah, well, there are some creepy-looking characters watching the house. I thought you should know. Oh. Well, I'll get a police escort to take you home and check them out. Uh, actually, Dad, these guys are the police. <sighs> so it's come to that. Bastards. Dad? Here, take this. It's a police radio. And here's a list of police channels. They don't know I know about the ones in red. They'll be using those to communicate. I can't take this. If they find out, you'll lose your job. They're already coming for me. We may as well keep one step ahead. Yes? Mr. Falcone, this is Dr. Strange's office calling. Right, sorry. I, I missed my last appointment. I, I had to... Actually, you missed your last two appointments. Uh, right, right. Look, I appreciate the doctor's concern, but I have it under control now. There's no need for any further treatment. I'm afraid Dr. Strange doesn't feel the same way, Alberto. We would hate to take unnecessary chances when we've come so far. Listen, I'm not one of Strange's test subjects to be poked and prodded. Have you forgotten who I am? Who my father is? I believe your father would be most concerned that his son could be suffering from untreated psychological issues. Is that a threat? So, we'll expect you at the regular time next week? Hello? Who is this? A friend of the family. Zionists. What do you want? Just a social call. Reaching out to the community, you might say. Go on. Your father and I did not always see eye to eye, but we had much in common. Common interests, common traditions. I can't really speak for my father or the family. That's not how you made it sound at Cucinota the other night. How did you know I was... Relax, Alberto. There's nothing like good food and wine to loosen the tongue, am I right? But next time you want to discuss your future, do it somewhere more private. And I own just a place. Hello, Sionis. Who the hell is this? What time is it? Time to get your affairs in order, Roman. There is a change in the air. And the wolves descend on Gotham. Listen, you little piece of crap. I don't know who you are or who you work for. I answer to a higher power than you. I am a higher power than you. And one day soon, you will have much to answer for. Nobody speaks to me. Answer my question. Why are you here? Same as you, of course. Money, glory. Don't play games with me. But you can play the cunning brute? I know of your reliance on Venom. And your desire to eliminate it. How do you... When you've lived as long as the Master has, you can gather a great deal of knowledge. You're working for him. What is he planning? You know better than to question his motives. I'm simply saying that my Master shares your hatred of criminals. Listen, I'm not sure who you are or what you want, but I don't appreciate you meddling in my business. We are hardly meddling. My master is simply offering you assistance. An opportunity you yourself say you desire. What makes him so sure he can do it? Well, it certainly won't happen overnight. There are... steps we must take. Strings. I knew it. You say you want to be mayor, that you want to purge this city of criminals. Then taking this position is hardly a string. So what did you say this facility was called? Arkham Asylum. It is said that which does not kill you makes you stronger. But that which makes you stronger can often kill you. Addiction is a weakness, one that must be overcome. Venom has become my addiction, my weakness. To free myself, I have tried many things. For a time, I sought to eradicate Venom and wipe those who manufacture it from the face of the Earth. But lately, I've gravitated towards Project TN1. A replacement drug, which would eliminate Venom's addictive properties and holds the promise of a permanent effect. If it works, I would no longer have need of the delivery system. Another weakness. While early tests had to be terminated immediately, the latest subjects seem at least physically stable. But side effects are severe. 
immediate and permanent long-term memory loss, followed by a general degradation of brain function that leaves the subject primitive. Testing continues. The latest formula shows promise. Once I've eliminated the bat, I will dedicate myself to finding a suitable volunteer for my tests. End of recording. Hiya, boss. Candy, what a treat. Where you been, love? Gone fishing, remember? Ah, oh, yes. You catch anything interesting? Just a nibble. That Roman's a slippery one. But he does have a new hobby. Oh? Collecting masks. Ain't that a hoot? Now, what would Roman want with that law, I wonder? I think it's time to break out some of our new hardware. We need to keep an eye on our friend Black Mask. Yeah, that you? Yeah, it's me. What is it? I got, uh, information. Your boss. We got him at the scene of the crime. What scene? Lacey Towers. He didn't do it. Oh, no? Should I repeat myself? We got him at the scene. Understand? Direct evidence of murder. Gobblepot ain't gonna be able to slip this one. Brandon says we're gonna have to bring him in. I told you, he didn't do it. That don't matter. All that matters is the evidence. Now... If that evidence should happen to disappear... Ah, I see. Well, it is Christmas. And with Loeb gone, I gotta look out for my future. All right. It'll be in the usual place. Just don't wait too long. Wouldn't want your cash to get soggy in all this snow. And make sure Brandon gets his cut. I don't want that son of a bitch coming back at me. Hey, always glad to help. So what do you got? Eh, a bunch of heavy hitters. A couple I've identified as potential customers. These really their names? Aliases. Deathstroke. What's that guy into? Guns, flashbangs. Deadshot, too. Sniper by trade. He's good for ammo. Whoa, whoa, who is this chick? Copperhead? She's wearing nothing but ink. Yeah, I don't know about her. Firefly neither. Not for weapons, at least. Maybe for, uh, other... materials. But this Bane guy, if you got the stomach for it, he's got a whole gang with him. That's your big sale right there. Assuming he don't just rip your arms out for fun. All right, so how does this work with Loeb out of the picture? Can't use the normal channels. This Gordon's a regular Boy Scout. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can help you with that. This is Gordon. I know who you are. Who is this? I've seen your record. Impressive. In a city full of dirt, you're the only one with a clean jacket. I need a trace started. But despite a clean record, you're still just an instrument of oppression at the beck and call of your corporate masters. I work for the city of Gotham, not some corporation. Are you really so naive? The government is owned by corporate America, the city is owned by Bruce Wayne, and the mayor wouldn't wipe his ass without permission from people like Rupert Thorne. You're a cog in the machine, Gordon, and that machine is voracious. That machine must be stopped. So you're doing me a favor of some kind? That's right. I'm here to help the misguided. Despite your chosen profession, your record suggests you could be reformed. So a warning. Get out, Gordon. Get out while you can. Hello? Hello? Did we get the trace? Encrypted? Son of a... You wanna eat, don't you? Yeah, but... Listen, I got you on possession, B&E, trespassing... Hell, I got you on loitering. So, what's it gonna be? All right, all right. What do I gotta do? Simple. You get them riled up, you know? You blend in, you make suggestions. Hey, there's a fat cat, let's roll his car. Hey, let's bring that building down. Those corporate bastards put us out in the street. And if you have to, you kick in the first window. You throw the first Molotov. But that's what they're gonna do anyway. Yeah, so they say. But talk is cheap. No one wants to be the first one to do it. That's where you come in. Uh, ain't burning down a building gonna get me in more trouble than I'm already in? <laughs> well, yeah. But that's what you got me for. I'm on your side, friend. You get them started, and then you get the hell out of there before us boys in blue start cracking heads. I'll make sure the heat doesn't come down on you. So long as you don't get yourself caught. I don't know about this. Look, this prick, anarchy or whatever, he ain't got your best interests in mind, right? He's got his own agenda, and he's just using you like he's using everybody else. You bring him out in the open, we bring him down, and everybody has a Merry Christmas. So, we got a deal?
Yeah, yeah. Deal. Yeah, you made the right choice. Now, will that be light or dark me? Gordon. He's so clean. I sometimes think he does it just to lord his integrity over the rest of us. Easy, Gillian. I'm telling you, Roman. It's time we took Gordon off the payroll. Permanently. That's enough, Gil. A cop like Gordon is good PR for the PD. We get him under control, and he could be even more useful to us. Control? It will be easier to send my men to beat some sense into him. Like Detective Flass? That approach has already failed. Find a way to put a collar on the man, and it'll be that much easier to tighten the leash. And how do I do that? Not my problem, Gillian. That's what I pay you for. Gordon is a man of principles. Work on those. What do you want me to do, become his confidant? Gordon trusts me about as far as he can throw me. So, not very far at all. Yeah, I get it. I'm a big guy. You're a fat slob who needs to start earning his keep. Now, men like Gordon have a weakness for a certain type of woman. They call it the Lancelot Syndrome or some such crap. What are we talking about here? You want me to shut up a honeypot? I'll leave the details to you. Find me some dirt. And try not to make a mess of it. What do you want me to do? Hold your hand? This bad guy's got some of my men really spooked. Some of them are even calling in sick. Then fire their asses. I don't have time for fence sitters. Soon I'll have all of City Hall in my pocket. And I'm not about to lose it over some cold feet. So what should I do about it? Cement shoes? You figure it out. Commissioner Loeb? Yes? Warden Joseph on the line. You wanted to see me, Warden? Yes. I need you to reevaluate Julian Day. Oh, didn't you see? I turned in my evaluation last week. I saw it, and I need you to do it again. I'm not sure that... You have to understand, Day is a manipulator. A very experienced one, and you, well, you're still in your residency. I don't see anyone doubting that Mr. Day is insane and should be tried as such. I'm actually considering writing a paper about him. Miss Quinzel, I'm giving you a chance here. Do you know what happens if the prosecution can try Day as a sane man? He'll get the death penalty. And the city will thank you for helping to remove a cold-blooded killer from its streets. So, we're not here to help rehabilitate the sick? <laughs> this is a prison, Miss Quinzel, not a mental health clinic. If you want to see a successful end to your residency, I suggest you keep that in mind and reevaluate Julian Day. I see. Perhaps... perhaps I was a bit hasty with my evaluation. Excellent. I'm glad we could... In fact, I think it would be excellent experience if I was the first to give all new inmates psychological evaluations. You're not a doctor yet. That's not your... Like you said, I need more experience with these manipulators. Perhaps more exposure to these types of criminals will help me learn to tell the difference between the fakers and the truly insane. Why would you want to spend any more time with these freaks than you have to? The criminal mind is a fascinating subject for a research paper. Or a book. It's no skin off my back. Knock yourself out. A killer is a killer is a killer. You think it matters to the victim or their families if he claims that he's insane? No, I'm not making special exceptions for all of these freaks that seem to be popping up. This one was trying to play the system just like the rest of them. Feigned insanity is no defense in my courtroom. You don't think it's a little... blatant? I mean, with his obsession for the holidays. In this city, they'll love it. Poetic justice, I say. All right. Well, Christmas Eve it is, then. Excellent. I'm throwing a little Christmas party that night. We're going to watch the execution from my home. You should come by. Bring your wife. Pick up your gift. I'll do that. And make sure you have something for my wife, too. She likes diamonds. Hmm. And they told me you were soft. Run that past me again? It's very simple, Brandon. Sometime in the coming days, you may receive a call from a third party requiring your services. Like a private contractor? Precisely. Okay, why? Let's call it an investment against future favors. And how am I supposed to know the guy? He will identify himself with the code word facade. What is that? French? It doesn't matter. What's important is that you remember it. All right, facade. Got it. So what's all this gear for, Brandon? I mean, I should know why I'm putting my job on the line. You sure those cameras are off? Relax. Everything's shut down for routine maintenance. So? All right. But keep it under your hat. Lowe's planning on setting up a special unit. 
With me as leader, of course. So, why steal the gear? We're not stealing, we're borrowing. That way we don't need to deal with a lot of red tape when we gotta mobilize. I get it. Off the books kind of thing. Need any guns? Nah, we got that covered. Believe me. Hey, if you wanna see some action, I can put in a good word. You kidding? I busted my ass to get this desk job. I'll leave the cowboy stuff to you. You're good at that. Suit yourself. But remember, if you're not with us, keep your damn mouth shut. You know I murdered your commissioner tonight, right? So what makes you think I give two farts what some dumbass dirty cops gotta say? I... I got it from reliable sources. Penguin is making a move on Falcone territory. The Falcone's got no idea what's coming. And this concerns me because... You... Uh... You don't care if Penguin takes over their racket? Why should I? I... Uh, I... I don't know. I mean... There's a balance right now. And you're at the top. But one of these other types starts making too much money, you know, and... That balance will... You know what I know? What I know is that I don't like balance. Balance is boring, and boring is a four-letter word in my book. No, balance. Balance is what's wrong with this city. We need to upset the balance, kick it over, light it on fire, and then see what comes scurrying out. Boss? Huh? Oh, right, that's me. Um... Are you feeling okay? Never better. I've got a new lease on life. Granted, it came with some added mileage, but beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, well, anyway, you know, it's the first Thursday of the month, right? So it is. Good job. Observation and initiative are the keys to advancement. I have my eye on you. It's just that normally you have me drop off the commissioner's uh, commission every month. Well, of course I knew that. But I'm, uh, uh, rethinking our arrangement with my good friend, the commissioner. Okay, okay. You're the boss. That's right. I am.